Hey there folks, this is Ian. I am an artist at Pingwa, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do lettering in Krita. When you get to the lettering stage of creating a comic page, Krita has some decent tools to lay down those letters. I'm going to work with this panel that we've colored in previously. To start to make it a little easier to see, I'm going to remove the background layer. We're going to go up to the toolbar on the top left and take the text tool. I'm going to click D to make sure I have default color selected. And I'm going to make a new layer above my inks called letters. The text tool select selected, I'm going to click and drag a space. And it's going to open up this text box here. For some reason, very big. And you can remove the basic text here, pull it to the side so you can see where you're lettering. And just type in your letters. Once you've typed in your text for your word balloon, you can click save and immediately apply it or you can use some of the formatting tools. I'm going to center this and I'm going to break it up to fit a word balloon a little bit better. I'm selecting it from the list. I'm going to use everyone's least favorite font, Comic Sans. save. I'm going to update my font over here. I can see what the size is and make any adjustments I might want to make. When I'm happy with it, I'm going to click save and close that dialog. Now I can adjust the size and the positioning. I'm going to drag it where I want it to be. Let it go. Once I'm happy with the positioning, I'm going to go over to my layers panel Click the drop down beside it and choose a vector layer. I'm going to make a new vector layer that is below my text layer. Double click that and rename it. And change this one to balloons. Now I'm going to use some of the vector tools here. In the second row, I'm going to choose an ellipse. I'm just going to drag one out that fits all of my text, drop it down. Now the tool options for the vectors are here. Um, by default, I want it filled with the foreground color and I want no outline. So I'm going to select that with the direct selection tool, delete it and try that again. I'm going to click X to reverse my foreground and background colors. So my foreground color up at the top bar here is now white because I want a white balloon. I'm going to turn back on my background so I can see it a little better. My ellipse tool, drag, under my text. Now I can go back and I can reposition. If I click text, I click the direct selection tool, fit, enter it in that balloon. Back to my balloon. Now I need a tail on here, so I'm going to use this polyline tool. And I'm going to change the option so it fills with foreground color and it has no outline. Click. Click until I complete the shape. Now, with both of these shapes, I'm going to apply a layer style to it. And to do that, I'm going to go to Layer, Layer Style and I'm going to select stroke. Stroke will draw an outline around it. I'm going to put my opacity to 100%, take the size way down. Three should be fine for now. Then click OK. There's my word balloon, and I can reposition it if I want to. 
turn on inherited alpha if I want it not to go outside. And that is basically it. If I wanted to edit this text at a later time, I can select my text layer and click on it and then hit enter. And that will bring back up my text editor if I want to make changes after the fact. That's very quickly how to add text and word balloons to your comics in Krita. Play around with it, get comfortable with it, and until next time, keep drawing. Bingo!